Hi everybody, I'm Donald Maher, just here to talk a little common sense with you. You know, when I grew up, my dad used to always tell me, well, it's, don't you have any common sense? Or, you know, it's only common sense, son. And uh, I realized that um, common sense isn't all that common. And when someone says it's common sense, it's usually because it's not so common that they had to make that comment in the first place. So let's talk a little bit about blood. Uh, blood viscosity or the blood thickness of uh, the solution is going to be governed by your electrolyte mineral content within your body and your water displacement. So a uh, person, <clears throat> uh, when we think of blood viscosity, you think automatically water and water should be enough. Um, but that's not true. Water is intended to have minerals in it. Water comes from the earth and it's intended to have minerals in it. And so what happens is that we have been uh, drinking all kinds of uh, filtered water and the water is reverse osmosis filtered and it robs the water of all of its good qualities as well as taking away all the bad qualities. So while RO filtering was originally, um, I guess it's set off around 1949, it was intended to desalinize or desalt water so they could take uh, ocean water and feed it to anybody. We could basically water the deserts of uh, California and so forth. In fact, I'm sure that uh, uh, Las Vegas is very grateful for the RO filter. However, what we haven't realized is that over the last 40 years, we have begun to see an increased um, level of symptoms that are symptomatic of an individual who has mineral deficiencies. For instance, uh, we have high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, we have fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, we have Alzheimer's at an all-time high. Um, all of these things, I believe, are tied to the mineral deficiency. And so with um, the Myo2 meds and the Formula 513 products, our intention is to replace a pure, pristine electrolyte mineral back into the water, introduce the water back to its uh, nutritious form, and then feed the body what we actually need. Does that make sense? Common sense. So let's look at the food source. Why aren't we getting enough electrolyte minerals from our food source? Well, if I go to the local grocery store, supermarket, I'm going to go into the produce area, and I'm going to pick up a beautiful orange apple or grapefruit or a vegetable. Well, I don't know if you realize this, but that fruit, vegetable, was not vine ripened to its peak. They pick it prematurely. And so therefore, it's not leaching up the electrolyte minerals and uh, things like magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, chromium, selenium, boron, zinc, iron, copper, all of these wonderful minerals that are intended to be in our food source and trace elements, they keep our body at a balance. But if I were to go and start drinking all of this distilled water, even though I'm at a balance, the more water I drink and the more I urinate, defecate, or perspire, my electrolyte levels are going to fall down while my water level is going to increase. I'll have things like congestive heart failure, water retention, have big swollen ankles and legs because I've got all this water on my body that I can't seem to get rid of because somebody has taken away my keys to open up the doors and get the garbage out. Does that make sense? <clears throat> RO filters, while they're not the worst thing, I think what's happened is we've been using a great uh, mechanism but without the rest of the story. So Paul Harvey, if I could borrow from you, that's the rest of the story. You need to get your electrolyte minerals. Go to my website at www.myo2meds or formula513.com and order yours today. A month supply can run you about $75 a month and we can get you on a program. You will get uh, two of the travel size Myo2 meds and formula 513. You'll also get three bottles that's two bottles of the Bio2 Meds and one bottle of the 513. That'll last you about a month at a rate of uh, 40 513 per day and 80 Myo2 Meds per day. I'm going to do a couple more videos on things like erectile dysfunction, high blood pressure, diabetes. Please stay tuned. Take a look at a couple more videos. Thank you very much. God bless.